This is five available light portraits in the city. Let's go. My name is Pai. I've been fortunate to create multiple successful companies in the photography space. I'm a photographer, but even more so, I would say I'm an educator and frameworks person. My specialty, making complex subjects easy for you to master, right here on Adorama TV. What's up guys, I'm Pai, this is my friend Kiara, we are downtown, and what I wanna do is get some available light portraits just to give you guys some ideas of what you can do in the city with nothing but just your camera. I already found a perfect spot right now, so I wanna get straight into this. Kiara, why don't you stand right here? I'm using a 35 millimeter lens, and I'm just gonna do like a basic walk-up shot first with each of these scenes, and then kind of show you what I would do differently. So this is the shot, 1 500 f 1.4 ISO 100. It's cool, it's fine, but nothing really to kind of write home about. But what we do have is this sunlight that's reflecting right off that building in the background, and it's kind of hitting the grates on this side of the uh, this store right here. So what we're gonna do is actually use that as a leading line. So Kiara, go ahead and step over to this side. And there it is. That looks absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna step in, I'm gonna use the leading lines of this and kind of frame right around the feet. Kiara, I want you to bring the chin a little bit this way. Perfect, just like that, eyes right at me. That's it, I'm gonna wait for the background to clear. That's it. Love it. Cute, let's move. What I love about challenges like this is that you get out of your head in the process. Don't take around any fancy gear, no lighting, no nothing. Just take a basic lens. I'm using the Sigma R35. I have my Canon R5, use whatever camera you like and just get out there and start looking for natural light. Start looking for the way light's reflecting off things, using light on existing panels and advertisements and looking for shapes and interesting compositions. Let's go find something else. Here's another fun one. We have these rails and these steps here, and I'm gonna try to use them in a little bit of an unconventional way. So Kiara, actually go up to the steps right there. I could just do, I think it would look cool to kind of just do a straight up shot like, like right here. Um, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. So instead of actually shooting straight on, I'm, I'll show you what that looks like. Kiara, hop into a pose. I mean, honestly, this looks pretty cool right here already. We could even do like a straight on shot and that looks cool. But instead, what I'm actually gonna do is come over here and we're gonna start working through the space. And I don't want Kiara to look at me because it's kind of like, we're shooting a little bit more of like a voyeuristic kind of image. So I'm gonna have Kiara kind of like lean into the pose a little bit and there. Looking down to the hand, actually, like you're making a little adjustment to the, the wardrobe. That's it. That's it. Bring the hands together and lean into the knee. Lean forward into the knee. And don't look into the lens. Look, there it is, right there. I love that. That's dope. I love this. I expose this a little bit brighter just so I can choose what I want to do in post. And I already kind of want to give this a little bit of a darker vibe. But I love the color of these rails and how the, the browns and kind of the reds in it almost matches the outfit. It creates a really cohesive look and feel. Let's go find something else. Right over here is kind of a cool building. I like that the top of it's kind of getting a little bit of light. It looks interesting. I'm gonna blur it out because, uh, well, we don't need to be advertising this building. But I think it'd be fun to do like a walking shot, just to add a little bit of motion, add a little bit of action. What we're gonna do is have Kiara walking across the uh, sidewalk. I'm gonna get close and down and shooting bottom up on this. Have like a very cool kind of city vibe look great and the colors of her outfit are going to really nicely go against that so i'm going to go to uh, one one thousandth of a second let's go to f 1.4 i'm going to go all the way down to the ground and uh, 1.4 and 400 iso go ahead and start coming across we're right across the street from the building this is kind of cool over here so uh, not the fact that this store is closed, but the white drapes or these white pieces of paper against the glass kind of create something interesting where I feel like we can make something really commercial with it. Because not only is this reflect light, so it's gonna give us a little light back from the sun, but it's also gonna give us a lot of negative space. So Kiara, go ahead and lean against this right here and kind of find a nice comfortable pose. I'm gonna bring the camera like all the way into this side and uh, we're gonna look to basically frame Kiara right against this on the left third. Chin down a little bit, Kiara, there you go. Bring one hand up to the jacket so I can kind of see the hand there. 
One of my favorite things is once the sun sets, we get tons of available light in the city from just all the different store lights that are coming through the windows. So basically everywhere we look, we have little soft boxes. All we have to do is just position our subject where we want them. So for this, I'd like to get this kind of fourth street downtown vibe with this kind of a winter vibe to it. And I'm gonna use this building's window light to have Kiara stand right here. And you will need to shoot with a higher ISO for this, but again, you know, cameras these days can go crazy high. So what I'm gonna do is go down to like one one sixty of a second for my shutter speed. I'm gonna go as wide as possible. So you want a lens that can shoot at like 1.4 or 2.0, a prime lens that can get a lot of light. And uh, so we'll go one one sixtieth f 1.4, ISO 1600. And I'm gonna have Kiara lean up against the glass and look kind of, kind of towards that light. There you go, right there. And then we're gonna use this sort of background right here. I love that. It's cute. I love the vibe of it. it. Has this winter vibe that looks great, like winter downtown and like maybe a small city kind of vibe. Looks really cool. I'm gonna have you look into the camera on this one. So I'm just having her adjust her chin a little bit more just to get it towards the light and right there. I love that. I'll get a little close up too. I love the way it's rendering all the lights in the background too. It looks fantastic. That's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Take this available light challenge and just get out, do what Adorama tells us to do to create no matter what. Let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments. I read all the comments. I reply as much as I can, but I get tons of ideas from you guys' questions and thoughts. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.